Yo YouTube, my name is Nick. This is Niche Dairy Comics. If this is your first time here, uh, please consider subscribing. We talk a lot of comics here, but today we got something a little special. We got us our first uh, Jabroni box. Uh, this is by Edwin, the comic Jabroni. Um, I know some of you guys out there have seen about these, but this is his first uh, mystery box that he's ever done. So I feel honored that I get to uh, be one of the first guys to participate in the mystery uh, box for the for the Jabroni box, and in honor of the Jabroni, I feel like there's kind of like a, a passing of a torch thing going on here, right? Because the Jabroni, smaller channel, you know, back in the day, he do I've seen that's where I kind of found Jabroni was doing mystery mail calls for uh, Comic Tom 101. Right, he would do these reviews, supporting the larger channels, making the larger channels bigger. Right, everybody supporting everybody. Well, I feel like there's a passing of a torch going on. Now, Jabroni, man, he's hit a thousand. He's on his way, right? <laughs> he's on his way. So now, the smaller guys, myself, the passing of the torch. I'm gonna support the comic Jabroni, and I'm gonna do videos unboxing his box, right? And in honor. Of the comic jabroni we're gonna be doing a bourbon review guys first ever bourbon review on ninja dairy comics and uh, full disclaimer guys uh, not much of a drinker probably haven't drank a drop of alcohol in over five years but I want to honor the comic jabroni and I thought this would be a cool way to do it because every time the jabroni does uh, an unboxing video for the mystery mail call or at least for the last four or five months that I've seen he also does a bourbon review guys so without further ado in honor of the comic jabroni welcome back welcome back welcome back guys let's get into it I'm super excited so first let's talk about what we got here honestly can you guys see this uh not super prepared for this video at all guys this is what I had in the in the pantry it's probably been sitting in there for seven years uh, so I don't know if this is a good bourbon or not guys it's Kentucky bourbon uh, it says it's barrel finished with oak staves it's a 94 proof 47 percent alcohol I think this bottle is gonna run you guys about um, see if we can get this off with this uh, with this red maybe I might need to get the old, the knife out real quick and take that off That's all right guys we're back we got that lid off just so you guys know um, there's a little tab on here actually I was trying to figure out how to get this wax off there's a little tab right here on the back you like pull it out there's a little uh, whirly bird thing but then it takes it right off man did you hear that pop it's got a cork in it that's super good guys Mm, that smells good actually I'm surprised I'm not like I said I'm not much of a of a oh, oh, hold on hold on hold on can you guys hear that let me see right let's just let that marinate a little bit smells like bourbon I don't know what to say guys tastes good all right let's get into the uh, the box here let's get into why you guys all really came here so full disclosure I did see man comic foo if you're watching this man I hate you bro no nah, I'm just kidding um, I accidentally caught Zelo's unboxing video he went live for the first time last night congratulations Zelo on that that's awesome I've been trying to figure out how to go live because I feel like that would be a lot funner to be able to interact with you guys live instead of in the comments later but it's still super fun doing it this way but congratulations Zelo on your first live stream that's awesome man but when I was watching that video about halfway through I was like why am I watching this I haven't opened my box yet if he gets the GP you know it's gonna kind of ruin it for me but he didn't get the GP but this actually showed up on my doorstep late last night about 10 30 which surprised me because it wasn't supposed to come till today but I didn't want to open it last night so I was like you know what I'm just gonna go to bed 
turn off social media I'm not watching no more YouTube videos right before I went to bed guys I just refreshed Instagram that one last time, right? That one last time. Let's just refresh it real quick. First picture that pops up, Comic Fu, Hulk 180. He got it. So congratulations, Comic Fu, man. That's awesome. But regardless of that, I'm still super pumped to open this Jabroni box because I know Jabroni's probably put some fire in here. Guys, um, real quick, these mystery boxes, um, I feel like for me, I buy them just to kind of support my favorite content creators and stuff like that. I bought this to support the comic Jabroni. He's in his search to get the Teenage Mutant uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one, which is awesome. That's kind of a grill for me too, guys, so I can kind of relate to that. But regardless of what's in here or what you get, I feel like the main reason everybody should participate in these boxes is for one, the fun of maybe winning the GP, but even if you don't, you still get some really cool comics, right? So. The main thing is to support Jabroni and uh, help him out. And then we also get some cool comics at the same time. So let's see what we actually got in here. Let's dive in here and see what we got. See what we got, guys. We got a lot of bubble wrap, which is awesome. Let's see here. It's a pretty good stack of books, man. I'm used to opening up the Comic Tom 101 boxes, man. There's like four books in there. So, this is awesome. Got it all taped up real nice. Again, I'm not prepared. Let me grab my knife real quick. All right, guys. Got the tape off. Got them all unwrapped. Let's see what we got here. First up, Wolf Warner. Shout out right there. Um, the Dead Hand. This is by Image Comics, guys. Uh, this looks like an issue number six. See if you guys can see that. I haven't heard of this book before, but guys, if you're not familiar with the channel, I've only been back into collecting and comic books for about four or five months. So most of these books, I'm probably not gonna know what they are. Um, it looks like we got uh, the Dead Hand issue number five as well. So it looks like we might've started on the bottom of the stack here, guys. Maybe I should flip that over, but we're going with the dead hand, so I'm assuming we're going to go all the way to issue one because I know the Jabroni said that he was going to be putting full runs together for people so they could actually read the stories, which is awesome, man. I love that. So, yeah, going with that theme, dead hand, issue number four. Again, this is by Image Comics, guys. Issue number three. Bam. Uh-oh. Fix my stand. Um, issue number two. And then issue number one, guys. That's awesome. I'm going to read this and do a review on it, right? My read pile, man, is so fat, right? It's a huge stack. So there you go. So we got The Dead Hand by Image Comics, issues one through six. That's already awesome right there. All right, looks like we got The Secret Wars issue number 13, guys. Um, this is like one of those hologram covers where you turn it and it looks like you got Thanos on the cover there. I don't know if we got we got glare and we got lighting but if you guys can see that Thanos not Thanos I don't know who this cat is I know that's Thanos for sure this cat looks like Thanos maybe it was Thanos before he turned into Thanos I don't know guys let me know in the comments but this is a sick cover dude that's fire love that thank you jabroni that one's awesome man um, this one um, this is issue number 148 pages, Malibu Comics, guys, and Marvel Comics. Looks like it's Rune. Is that Rune? Are you N.E. versus Venom? Never heard of that. Awesome. Glad to have it in the collection, man. 
This guy looks like a savage though. This cover is pretty fire, man. If you actually get in there and look at it, it's pretty sick. I'm gonna have to look into that for sure. All right, guys, what do we got next? Looks like we got some Green Lantern. Uh, Betrayed by the Red Tide. This is issue number 38. DC Universe. Cool book. Looks like we got another Green Lanterns. This is a 47 by DC Comics as well. This looks like a... It's almost like a virgin, guys, because it doesn't have like the trade dress, but it still has like the DC logo and says the the name of the book at the bottom. So I don't know if that's actually considered a virgin cover. It's a half virgin, right? It's a half virgin. Have you ever met any half virgins? I think we might have found the first one, guys. Okay, so looks like we're going with some older books now. Uh, this one looks like it's from 1988 in that range. Don't quote me on that. This is Iron Man issue 153. Love getting older books, man. And we also got Iron Man issue 154. So we got us a little back-to-backs here. And it looks like we also got issue... 155 Iron Man and then also issue 156 I think, it's, I think my stack's getting too heavy now last book up and 158 so a nice little run of some old school Iron Man right there guys now I know Jabroni said, oh, whoa, hold up. Looks like we got us a card too, guys. A little Marvel card. I think I have some of these in the garage somewhere. I need to dig them out because I've been, man, I got some old stuff in the garage that I need to go through and see what's actually in there. I think I have some old Marvel cards and stuff, but this is a Bishop, um, the Mutant Soldier. Looks like this is done by Adam Cooper. This is a power grid. I wonder, it says power grid. It says strength, intelligence. I wonder if this is part of a game. They used to have those old, um, you know, the old Marvel cards that were like part of a game that you could play, but I don't think it is. I think this is just a collectible one. But that was thrown in there too, man. That's super awesome. Thank you, Jabroni, again. Um, I know he said there was gonna be some, some keys. Um, for me, you know, I like just supporting the Jabroni. So anything that he threw in there, I was gonna be totally happy with. Um, it would have been nice to win the GP, but only one can win it. Um, he is going to be doing a second round of the Jabroni boxes. I think he's going to announce that um, that sale date sometime in January. So, guys, if you if you liked what I had here, this was a fifty dollar box. Um, I did have to pay an extra fifteen for shipping, which is totally fine with me. But he said he was going to simplify it for the next round and just do fifty dollars flat for the, the second round of the Jabroni boxes. So if that's something that interests you guys, save up your money now, save that Christmas money. Um, I feel like the second round is gonna bring some more heat. He is gonna have the first appearance of Captain uh, America and the second appearance of Captain America. There was a third one too. I can't remember what the third one was. I wanna say it was a spider book, but don't quote me on that. Um, but I know he was saying there was some major keys, you know, in almost every box. Again, not familiar with comics enough to know if there was something in here. If there was something I shown guys that was my key of the book, let me know in the comments or Jabroni, reach out to me, man. Let me know what I'm missing here. But these are all awesome, man. Super stoked for the box. Super stoked for Comic Foo for winning that GP. Um, Maker's Mark, right? Set out for a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, man, I got nothing. I tip it off the, the jabroni for being able to uh, do these reviews on this bourbon, man, and, and pull out some of those tastes and some of those things that you're feeling. For me, I don't know. I, I got nothing, man. I don't taste nothing in there, brother. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we got for you guys on this one. Uh, Comic Jabroni, thank you very much for the box, man. Um, 
I feel like I should be grandfathered in for the next round. I feel like I feel like I should have automatic dibs on one of those next boxes because I was one of the first. All you other guys out there that got jabroni boxes, let me know how you feel. Should we should we push jabroni to let us get automatic dibs for second round or should we share the love and let everybody else try to get a second box because I know it's probably going to go both ways. I'm happy with it either way, but I will try to definitely get in on that second box. Super stoked on this one. Um, yeah, guys. We'll, we'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. See ya. Let you get the best of me In bed with my worst enemy This is a no-go I just can take cold This is a danger zone Back up and get me home This is a no-go I just can take